Hey, it's JC and welcome to Small Brick City. Today, we're going to have a look at a custom mock, which is a cafe and bookstore, and this is part of the Small Brick Town project. It combines parts from two official LEGO sets to create an original mock, and the sets in question are the Winter Toy Store, set 10249, as well as the Detective's Office, set 10246, or more specifically, the Highlander's Bar from that set. I wanted to retain the essence of both buildings, but to create an original building at the same time. From the Highlander's Bar, I kept the original brickwork, as well as the very distinctive green half globes and printed windows. For the Winter Toy Store, I wanted to keep that double pitch roof, which is very distinctive, as well as the red and dark red overhang awning. My first attempt at the mock wasn't very successful. While I got the rough structure and the bare essence of the two buildings, it just didn't look right and the roof didn't feel right as well. In fact, it was modified too much and it didn't keep the essence of that double pitch roof. In addition, there was a problem trying to build the ground floor efficiently so that it could have a higher ceiling to house the ceiling fan. The other challenge, of course, was to fit everything in the required space, which is 12 studs across and 16 studs deep. After several attempts, I did finally come up with a very satisfactory build, and here it is. As you can see, I did retain the essence of both builds. The ground floor is the cafe, which is made from the Highlander's bar of the detective's office set, and the second and third floor, or maybe second half floor, is made up from the winter toy store. I'm really happy that I managed to fit the double pitch roof on the building in that small space as it's so distinctive of the Winter Toy Store. I'm also glad that I was able to keep the concept of the design of the Winter Toy Store as there's an attic which houses a private reading room. Let's have a closer look at this build. This is a corner building so there's an entrance on each adjacent side of the building. At the front is the entrance to the coffee shop and through the front window you can actually see the different treats and pastries as well as some drinks. On the other side of the building is the door leading up the steps to the bookstore. There is a nice 3D brick built book sign which I'll show you in more detail in a while. And the bookstore has windows on both sides which allow you to look clearly inside. I kept the design elements from both original sets as far as possible so that you can actually recognize the builds within this building. The 3D book sign is made of tiles as well as plates and is held in place by various pin and clip technique elements. One feature that I really liked about the Winter Toy Store was the chimney which ran from the ground floor all the way to the top of the building. I retained that for this build as well. And now let's have a look at how the roofs are taken off. The front top pitch roof actually is completely removed. It's a standalone piece attached by jumper plates. Uh, nothing really inside there that is really just for decoration. For the attic, the slope roof is actually removable. It just sits on the angled structures at the bottom. And notice the cutout in the corner of the roof. That's to give space for the chimney. And the construction of the roof follows the original building techniques of the winter toy store. The attic space is really small. It is really designed as a single reading room. It is very cozy with a nice armchair. There's a floor lamp next to it and a railing so no one falls down to the second floor. There are some decorations on the wall and the floor is completely tiled. The second floor or the actual bookstore is accessed by removing the attic. There's a large bookcase which also functions as kind of a partition to where the staircase leading up to it is. You see many books all around. After all, it is a bookstore. That's the ladder which leads up to the reading room or attic. And the interior of this bookstore is also completely decorated with books on the side. And the front has a rack of magazines, small books, an old style cash register, a clock, some cookies in a jar and more books. And there's the nice old lady who owns the bookstore. And because of the nice large windows on two sides of the bookstore, you can clearly see inside of the bookstore from the outside. The entire second floor can be easily detached as per any modular style building. And this leads us to the ground floor or the cafe. This is the nice ceiling fan that comes with the detective's office, also from the Highlander's bar. 
it can rotate and the ceiling of this ground floor actually had to be raised higher to give allowance for the ceiling fan. Behind it, you see the staircase as well as a short ladder to access the bookshop. Let's just move this fan out of the way so that we can see the inside of the cafe more easily. There's a barrister behind the counter and you can see the fireplace at the base of the chimney just behind her. The interior of this cafe is fully decorated and you can see right at the front there's a nice display of croissants, pastries and drinks which you can see from the outside as well. There's also a large coffee or espresso machine as you would expect to find in a cafe. The floor of the cafe is tiled in dark tan, dark green and brown. So did you think I managed to combine the essence of the winter toy shop and the detective's office? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in the other builds of the small brick town project, check out the videos in that playlist. As usual, like this video and subscribe to the channel. A big shout out to all the people who came over from the Facebook page and subscribed to the channel. You guys are awesome. Till next time, talk to you soon.